This video tutorial is going to teach you how to set up your Mac in order to run uh, Windows 7, Windows 8, or Windows 8.1. The first thing uh, I want to go through is you need uh, a copy of Windows 7 or Windows 8. Now the copy that I have here, as you can see here, a digital uh, copy um, of Windows 8.1. Uh, so nowadays people don't really buy CDs anymore or DVDs you can download the digital copy of Windows 7 and Windows 8 right from the Microsoft Store. The second thing you'll need is a USB drive and this needs to be a USB drive of at least 8 gigs. Your USB drive will be formatted so if you have any content on it I would back it up uh, before we get started. Here's what we need to do. Um, first thing is first go to applications. Uh, scroll down until you find the utilities folder and in here you'll find an application called Boot Camp Assistant. You want to open that up. So you can read through this. It's just an introduction of what Boot Camp uh, helps you do. Uh, a reminder to back up all of your data on your computer uh, in case anything goes wrong. I have yet to see something go wrong in the past, but you never know. So uh, after you've read that, go ahead and click Continue. So just a few options of the things we want to do. So create a Windows 7 or later version install disk. Yep, we want to do that. Download the latest Windows support software from Apple. Uh, yep, we want to do that. And uh, install Windows 7 and later version. Uh, we want to do that as well. So you want to have all three of those checked. Uh, this second option here, what this really means is it's another way to, uh, to say that you need the drivers for Windows. You need to uh, make sure that the drivers are installed so that all the hardware works perfectly. Continue. You need to select the Windows ISO image. So this ISO image is the the copy of Windows 7 and Windows 8 that you downloaded from the Microsoft Store, the digital copy that I just showed you. So we're going to click on Choose, uh, and then go to the directory where that is located. Oh, there you go. And click Open, and then you're going to select which USB drive you want to install it on, or rather I should say which USB drive you want to copy that file to, uh, that install Windows on. So I'm going to click on my USB external Make sure uh, if you have multiple drives connected, make sure you pick the right one. You don't want to go and delete something that um, you didn't intend to. And just another reminder, the data in the selected drive will be lost after it is formatted. So after you've done that, go ahead and click Continue. Again, another warning, the drive, drive will be erased. Right, click Continue. We'll let this run. Uh, we're now here at the Create a Partition for Windows stage. We're presented with the option of partitioning a hard drive. So uh, your Mac will have one hard drive and you want to split it into two separate partitions, one to run Mac and another to run Windows. And, and here you can choose with the slider um, how much you want to allocate for each operating system. Um, I think for my purposes I'm going to say 200 for Windows and uh, 300 for uh, Mac. Um, so once you decide that just click uh, install. Alright everyone, sorry for cutting that uh, last step a little short. Uh, so what happens there is that once the drive starts to partition, um, you have to X out out of all open applications, including the screencasting application that I was using to record this video. So uh, really what happens after that, um, you didn't miss much, is after the partition disk status completes, uh, the Mac is going to automatically reboot into this installer that you're seeing here. And this is the Windows installer that we just created with the USB drive. Uh, so after it reboots, it's going to come uh, into the screen where you can start setting up Windows on your second partition. Alrighty, so we're already in. Um, you want to check this off here with your language. Um, I think for most of us it's probably going to be English. Click Next. Alright, so once you've entered your serial key, you're going to go ahead and click Next. Accept the uh, license agreement. And here you're going to be presented with uh, several drive partitions. Now you may think that you only have two, one for Mac and one for Windows, but there's always some hidden system partitions that are there for a reason. Um, but you can ignore those for now. Uh, what Apple did here is they very cleverly labeled the one that you're going to use boot camp so that you know uh, which one you need to format. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that and then go ahead and click on format. Click OK. And then once that drive is formatted I can go ahead and click next. 
So Windows is going to start doing its thing and um, it might reboot several times. If it does, that's totally all right. You're going to be asked to personalize the account. So once this comes up, um, we're just going to proceed through the steps here uh, like you normally would with any other installer. Um, I'll also point out that if this doesn't come up automatically, uh, you can always open this up via the USB drive. Okay, now that we've finished installing the drivers, we're going to go ahead and click finish. Uh, it's going to ask here for a reboot. Go ahead and click yes. Alrighty, so things are loading up here now, and there you have it.